Greetings and welcome to the Moodle Gradebook and Gamification lesson. In this lesson we're going to look at how you can set up the Moodle Gradebook to be a bit neater, a bit tidier and encourage gamification elements in your course. So I want to start by looking at a typical Moodle course. So I've logged into my Moodle instance as admin user and let's have a look at Mars and Jupiter. Now Mars and Jupiter has assignments, quizzes and lessons, so i.e. graded items on the course that will show up in the gradebook. If we click on grades, we are able to see the gradebook and the gradebook setup. And typically you start at the grader report, which is an overview of all of the graded items and then the course total. And obviously what students have actually received. If we click on setup, we are able to look at all of the graded activities within the course. We're able to set weightings and also we're able to look at the maximum grade for each of those activities. And typically, people create activities and don't really think about the grade. And as I said in my previous lesson about quizzes, I always match the amount of questions within a lesson or a quiz to that maximum grade that the student can get. And I don't tend to worry too much about the course total, because I'd rather have a fair reflection of how the students are doing in each of the course than tailoring my course to be out of a hundred for example. Now obviously this gradebook is a little bit of a mess because for the assignment you get a hundred points or you can get a hundred points but for this Jupiter quiz you can only get one and the Mars quiz you can only get ten. So this is a typical gradebook where it's a bit of a mess to be honest with you. So let's have a look at what I can what you can do with the gradebook if you tidy up the course a bit and stick to those principles that I've said. So assigning the maximum number of points per activity, per, per graded activity, to the number of questions in the activity. And this is the Jupiter and Mars course. Very similar to the Mars and Jupiter course, isn't it? But um, what I've done here is if we go into grades and set up, what we can see is that I have not only categorised the grades into assignments and then lessons and quizzes, but I've also allocated the correct maximum number of marks that they can receive in each of these quizzes and assignments. And as I said, I'm not worrying about the course total. And this is now accurate. I know that if a student gets four marks in the mar sorry, four questions right in the Mars quiz they will get a mark of four and a total amount available is out of five. And this can be really helpful because the course is organised, the gradebook is organised so that they can only receive the maximum number of points per question or per activity. What I did to create categories is add category. So what you do is add a category, you call it something, and let's not call it Ben, let's call it Tests. And I've just left all of the defaults on here, save changes. And then you can move things, move items into that category by clicking on the little move button. And then let's move it down to Tests. You'll notice that the weightings I have not played with, they automatically adjust based upon the maximum grade that is achievable. OK. I think that's probably enough on gamification and the gradebook for the time being. If you can set up your course in the right way, with the right grades, it really, really helps with gamification. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you the user report that actually ties into the gradebook 
so that the students can see not only their grades in each of these activities, but their ranking too on the course. So join me for that lesson. <laughs>